<laughs> oh my god. Well, alright, you freaks. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Listen, when I first heard this story, uh, I watched another uh, content creator YouTube channel. Her name is Lisa uh, Cabrera, and I want to give her a shout out. So this was the first time I heard the story. And it tickled me um, because it's so much spiritual nuances behind the story that I decided I wanted to, you know, do a little research myself and also see what, you know, what she was talking about. And I, I mean, of course, I knew the story was already verified. It was just that I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's one of these stories like, who you going to believe, me or your lying ass eyes? <laughs> Is the scientists are baffled because these orcas ain't playing with them. They're not playing with your asses. See, I always say, y'all can kill some of us. And however, whoever you see to us as. But God will kill all of y'all. <laughs> Be done in so many ways. Okay? Because this right here sounds like a spiritual um awakening in the waters because if i'm not mistaken that is spain and portuguese portugal that's where all this slave shit started right <laughs> queen isabella and them the portuguese in spain and christopher columbus and all that craziness and them going so they responsible for a lot of the evilness in the slave trade Black people, Ados, right? And they dropped us up all over the place. Um, so it not baffled me. It only be fitting to me that the orcas that start ramming those <laughs> sailing boats. It it would it's just a turn of nature now. Because everything will turn against you. When you start doing and it's gonna go over a lot of y'all heads. Don't get angry about it. But when you get outside of the will of God, totally, I mean in your heart, when you get out of the will of God in your heart, forget about the sins you do. Forget about those things because what's sin, what's sin, that's uh, what uh, you come to God about for forgiveness. Your creator, your higher being, okay? But when you're doing evil, and wicked towards humanity. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's a real problem. And so that's what is leaving these scientists baffled <laughs> by the behavior of these orcas killing it. I mean, um, ramming them and just destroying the boats. So let me go ahead with this story. And like I said, I initially heard it on Lisa Cabrera's uh, channel. And uh, this article that I pulled out, it says scientists have been baffled by incidents of orcas ramming sailing boats along Spanish and Portuguese coasts. In the last two months, from southern to northern Spain, sailors have sent distress calls after worrying encounter. Two boats lost part of their rudders. At least one crew member suffered bruising from the impact of the ramming, and several of the boats had sustained serious damage. The latest incident occurred on Friday afternoon off uh, the uh, Corona, Corona on the northern coast of Spain. Halcyon Yachts was taking a 36-foot boat to the UK when Orca rammed its stern at at least 15 times, not the bow, but the stern. <laughs> oh my goodness. According to P. Green, the company's managing director, the boat lost steering and was told to port to assess the damage. Wow. 
Around the same time, there were also warnings of orca sightings um, 70 miles south of Vigo, near the site of at least two incidents of collisions. On August 30th, a French flag vessel radioed the Coast Guard saying, Help went under attack from killer whales. Later that day, the Spanish naval yacht Mirfac lost part of its rudder after an encounter with these boostly railing beasts. What the? God is trying to tell you something. Get the hell out. No. All jokes aside, we are tired. Even the damn animal is tired. Everybody tired of the damage of these people who have come down from these mountains and have wreaked havoc on the world with poison and everything. Now the boats in the waters are not safe because the orcas then figured it out too that we need to do something. We need to do something to this energy. And we just letting you know that and beasts <laughs> that y'all call, we have control all over the place. Y'all just don't really understand the power of God. See, because y'all could be walking down the street and we'll make all, you can be walking through the forest and God will make all these damn trees fall down all across you while you walking. Try to hit a tree back. Right? The earth will start rejecting your dirty, filthy ways. Your mismanagement and your mishandling of God's people. The universe will start to fight you back. And y'all just think it's a joke. But it ain't. It's not. I get so tired of seeing these videos where the people that you trust to um, be high standing citizens and you pay them pensions and money at your hard owned tax dollars and they turn around and kill you, lie to you, do all types of mayhem and then just put all that filthy energy out. Of and then, of course, when the retaliation comes, not saying that it's right or wrong. Uh, here comes all this, uh, uh, look what happened to me. And it's like, oh, you don't see it when you do to somebody else. Because you have, in your mind, you're so corrupt. You're so corrupt that you don't think it's nothing when you take somebody else's life, but it's all that when your shit gone. You are a living embodiment of a reprobated mind and most of the times the people that are up under your uh, tutorship leadership so called because it ain't leadership it's you know fuckery <laughs> but those of us who are under your rulership all of us are suffering we might be suffering more now because it's coming to a head OK, but these are all and all and all the lies and all the stuff, disappointments and all the deceit um, bottled up all in the universe, all in the waters, all in the air. Along with the coronavirus. <laughs> Listen, y'all, let me finish this article. Highly intelligent social animals, I'm talking about the orcas now, they are the largest dolphin family. They are the largest of the dolphin family, I'm sorry. Researchers who study a small population of the Strait of Gibraltar say that they are curious and it is normal for them to follow a boat closely, even to interact with the rudder, but never, ever with the force that they have suggested here. Um... The Spanish maritime authorities warned vessels to keep a distance, but reports from sailors around the strait throughout July and August suggest that it may be difficult. Um, at least one pod appears to be pursuing the boats. <laughs> and the aggression is highly unusual and concerning. 
Feel. They own y'all. They ain't playing. They are chasing you. This is really a hell of a story. I mean, and it's it's a pretty long story, but it's a very interesting story. Uh, I'm you read about you hear about all kinds of phenomena now all over the um, world because the energy is so stank and dank and greed. And all the people that worship it and money and stuff have just corrupt the world to a point where it's just like, seems like everything is rebelling, not just the people. I don't know. Maybe I'm on one this morning. Y'all tell me what you think. Am I crazy? Or have you ever heard a story like this where the orcas are ramming the sailboats on purpose? No accident. They're not trying to play with you. And it's not like when you take a cruise and the dolphins are, you know, jumping alongside of it or the orcas uh -uh, following along. Because I've seen them when you're on those ships, you know how they follow alongside you. And, you know, it's just a, it's just really a nice sight. Uh-uh. When you see them coming, they coming to get you. The orcas are coming to destroy you. Okay. That has to be a hell of a sight. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, check the story out. And uh, go over to Lisa uh, Gabrera's channel as well and give her some love. Thank you. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.